Hey, Marcus Conti reporting. Look what I found. <laughs> they got a bunch of lefties on the on the steps. They want climate change. They want they they want climate change res uh, uh, legislation. So it's uh, I'm down here at City Hall in New York City, and uh, we got a lot of very interesting people gathering on the steps to talk about a climate change proposal in New York that hold on a second I gotta cover my thumb it's freezing <laughs> climate change is fucking cold out man. it's not at least it's not snowing so there's a, there's a lot of lefty liberals I've already had two arguments Oh, guys, shut the fuck up. <laughs> he, said, he said, what are you, a Trump supporter? So anyway, on a serious note, this is uh, City Hall. This is where um, the good mayor <laughs> works. And these folks are trying to get, they're trying to overthrow the fossil fuel industry. The oh-so-powerful fossil fuel industry. The trillions and the billions, the billions and trillions of, of, of oil money. They want windmills and solar. They want a Green New Deal. Is it possible? I don't know. Is it necessary? Oh, yeah. But is it, is it possible to get? So there's going to be a bunch of speakers. I don't know. I'll just hang out for a while, see what's going on. La la la. Fox 5 is here. Ooh. Fake news. So the idea here is that these folks are going to, uh, I don't know, go inside some, some kind of some kind of meeting. A bunch of politicians are going to talk about instituting climate change in 2050. <laughs> Talking about 32 years from now. We'll all be dead. <laughs> well, at least I'll be dead. I hope I'll be dead. I'll take a walk. I'm all leftied out. Ah. It's cold in New York. It's cold. Cold in New York. But it's still beautiful. Look how beautiful. That's where the mayor works. Hmm. It's the Brooklyn Bridge over there. You walk out that way and you're in Brooklyn. Pace University. See this building right here? See this building right here? It's the Woolworth building. It used to be the tallest building in New York. What are the buildings? We see the Freedom Tower from here? Ah, uh, you only see the top of the Freedom Tower. You can't see it at all. Uh oh. Got some lefties ready to talk. Getting ready.
nobody approachable. You guys here for the rally? Can I bring you into my frame? You guys here for the rally? Yeah. Uh, my name is Marcus. Oh, look at this. They take off. How you doing? Yeah. So uh, what, do you, what do you think about climate change? Uh, what do I think about climate change? I think climate change is going to uh, kill us all. Kill us all, right? The Perfect. earth is warming up very quickly, and we must take action. Our state needs to set a model, and the time to do it is now. And you'll hear me talking a little bit about it, and that's why the CCPA is an important policy. You're one of the speakers? Yeah. Oh, cool. Very good. Thank you. Look forward to hearing you. I can dig it. People with a lot of low voices. How you doing? Here in grassroots. <laughs> Just makes me. <laughs> I feel. I feel like I need to be sarcastic or cynical. Because what is the what is the obstacle here? Right? Is, does this work? Does standing out? Does standing outside? You know what? What do the fossil fuel people think right now? Where are they? What do you think big oil is right now? You think they give a shit about this? I don't know. I might be wrong. Is this how it starts? You get outside. You get all your lefty friends together. Right? I think it. I just think change has to be massive. This is contained, right? This is contained. Big oil loves this shit. They, they know where you are, you know? Just my thoughts. I once felt like that. I once felt like I was a lefty.
Trump says climate change is a hoax. It's the Chinese doing it, right? <laughs> What about cow farts? <laughs> Poor cows, right? Talking about some kind of some kind of conference, a state state senate, the state senate in New York is going to discuss a climate change bill uh, that's going to happen in 2050, and they're trying to advance it to 2030, which is 18 years away. It's a noble it's a noble cause. Right? It's definitely a noble cause. I'm all for it. Give it a flag. Why is the flag at half mass? Who died?
See jobs, green new deal, green new deal jobs. Not just solar panels on the roofs, but you could farm solar. You know that, right? You get like take you take sun in Arizona, right? And you just you take the sun in Arizona and you hone the power of the sun. <laughs> Why build a wall? Fucking build solar panels, man. I'm all for it. It's just you got to get out the fossil fuel people, man. They're not gonna have this shit. So Fox News has their um, has their mic set up over there. So if you're interested in listening to what they're saying, <laughs> so I'm having a hard time focusing. <laughs> you can listen to Fox. Fox Five has the camera set up. I don't know. Maybe they're just looking for sound bites. Who knows? Definitely power in numbers, that's for sure, man. What if they were wearing yellow vests? Ooh. Imagine that. See, protesting used to be something... Something like you did without, without asking permission. That's what the French are doing, right? This is organized protest. It's like... We know exactly where you are, says the big money, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, they're on the steps. Keep them there. Keep them on the steps. It's a nice cutaway, right? What do we want? Solar panels. When do we want it? Now. Spanish people in New York. Si se puede. Si se puede. Of our Climate Justice and Disaster Relief Committee. 
I have seen firsthand the massive destruction caused by climate change. When I went on a medical mission with NYSNA to the Philippines in 2013, in the aftermath of Typhoon Haiyan, this trip had a great impact on me and helped propel me into the climate justice work I do today. As nurses on the front lines of patient care, we see mm, la 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 la. the destruction that climate change and climate justice issues have on the health of our patients. So is it a hoax? Is climate change a hoax? Is it caused by human activity? Yeah. It's not the cows farting. It's us. Why are the cows farting? Do you ever ask yourself? You got six, you got seven billion people on the planet. Right? What's the cows farting about? It's food. Right? If you stop eating the goddamn animals, you eliminate the cow farts. That's one. All the green plants, that's good for us. That's oxygen. Right? So many issues. It's the cars. A right? hundred years ago, we didn't have all these cars, right? Look at our cars. It's fossil fuel, right? right? It's human activity, no doubt. How do we stop it? How do we stop it? CCPA, that's what it is. Our communities, our families, and our CCPA. I want to try to talk to some people, right? But we hear what they're about, right? See what it looks like from back here. <laughs> yeah, about 200 people. Maybe less. Two hundred people. How many people are in New York? Fifty million. Hmm. Think it'll work? Right, okay. We can win good health care 
but that doesn't mean to have your family grieving. You can win a pension, but what good is that if you don't have a future? Polar ice caps, you heard? They're melting down. You see the you ever see the pictures of the uh, polar bears, right? They're floating around on like one ice cube. <laughs> right? They're clinging to one ice cube because because there's fucking there's no there's no more ice. Is that us? Are we causing that? Or is it just evolution? It's just our time, right? That's just the time on the planet. We have nothing to do with it. Nothing at all. Right? Polar polar vector. What's that, man? Suddenly it's 50, zero, 50, minus 50 to below zero in, in, in the middle of the country. <laughs> we don't have anything to do with it, right? Nothing. CCPA. You know I'm saying, man, big oil's laughing their ass off right now. Look at this shit. Rock. This is where I was standing, by the way, when during 9-11. I was right on that corner when the building fell. The building used to be right in that gap. Right there. It used to be the Twin Towers when they were... Oh, shit, that's, that's, this is where I was. I was right down by the uh, edge of the park there. Right? And I ran this way. Right up to Chinatown. Fucking, why? I watched the building fall from this angle right here. I was like, we're gonna. Was like, what? You couldn't believe what you were seeing. Never saw a plane hit. Did not see a plane hit, but. I saw that building fall. Both of them. Lot of preliminaries. I like that sign. Clean energy jobs or American jobs. I love that. Happy people. Pass the CPPA. Pass the CPPA. Pass the CPPA.
that was fun for 30 minutes. <laughs> Freezing my ass off out here. Actually, it's kind of warm. I think because we're in the sun. find that person with the uh, clean jobs. Hey, can I ask you about your sign? Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh, sure. Okay. I love the sign. What does oh, it say? Oh, the sign. Oh, climate uh, uh, energy jobs are American jobs, and they're permanent jobs, too, because uh, if, if you use fossil fuels, when they're gone, what, what's going to happen to the jobs? Right, you know, right. You know. Do you think we can get it done? I hope so. I think so, because we got a Democratic um, Senate. I, I mean, I know there are some corporate Dems, but I'm hoping that it'll go, go through be, you know, more than it would you know, when the Republicans were, were in charge. So... So, so the idea is to get it done by 2050. Well, I think it should be done sooner. I think 2050 will be too too late by then. Hey, what's your name, by the way? Oh, Ob Hunt. Ob Hunt. Mm -hmm. Ob Hunt. Yes. Oh, cool. Very good. So you're part of the. Uh, I, I mean, what do you say to the? I guess what I, I won't be a cynic for a second. What do you say to the to the uh, deniers, the people who say the Trumps, who say it's a hoax, is. The Chinese invented it. What do you say to those people? I think they're looking for money. They're looking for profits, and and it, any way they can get it, they'll look for it. But when 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 this uh, planet is destroyed and there's floods and all kinds of disasters, where are they where are they going to spend their money? Right. It's so, human activity, right? Exactly. No, 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 no doubt. Oh, 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 oh! Human activity, definitely, because it's, this past four years has been the planet's been heating up more the past four years than than, than any other time. You know, it has to be. It has to be carbon emissions and everything. What about the what about the uh, uh, Alessandro Ocasio Cortez? She's talking about cow farts. You think we should? You heard about that? Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard of it. it the cows, the cows give off uh, methane. Oh, they do. That's what oh, she, yeah, well, yeah. I, I didn't well, it know. does. It, maybe, maybe they do, but not not as badly as they would if they were did that fracking or right, things right. like that gas release. Um, uh, natural gas into the atmosphere. Right. I think that brings that brings more methane than anything. Right. But I'm with you on the jobs though, because if you if you create like solar, not so much solar panels on roofs, but if you put like solar panels, like farming, where yeah. you 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 put like thousands of panels across Arizona where sun is abundant, it, it's jobs. It feeds it feeds back into the grid, windmills. Right? It, it makes perfect sense. It, I mean, exa it's exactly. not even like you can you can't argue that it doesn't make sense. Exactly. You know, and and, and they're per per permanent jobs. I mean, because it's renewable energy. Right. You know, we need a we need a jobs program in this country, right? Exactly. What would you rather what, what would you rather do? Build a wall. Or or build solar panels. A, a wall was use, useless. I mean, it, it, it's a useless wall. It's going to cost about seventy billion dollars. Not that five 70? billion. That, yeah, I think I, in, in the long run. In, in the, long, the long run. And then to maintain it and keep guards at the doors. And, and you can't keep guards through a two thousand mile border. But what if we what if we say okay screw the screw the uh, you're a good, you're a good guest say we screw the um, ah oh, this this. This uh, solar panel shit. Why don't we just build walls around every state, and we could we could we could keep our people in, and keep the people from the other state out. That would be a good idea because we'd stay in business building walls, right? Oh well, well Trump may love that, but <laughs> good idea, right? <laughs> That's great. Well, we could build solar panels and windmills, and 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 f and use that energy, right? Exactly. That 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 makes perfect sense. Thank you so much for your time, man. Okay, Appreciate thank it. You. Good talk, man. It's a good guy. Because that's the number one thing right there, jobs. You could build jobs.
Hey, can I get a, can I get three minutes? Two minutes? Three minutes? Or are you busy? Yeah, uh, how about like a minute? Is that cool? Uh, a minute, I love it. Yeah. Hey, so this is the guy who was uh, the curator of the event. <laughs> so uh, we're going to get it done? What do you think? We're, we're going to get this, we're going to get climate change, uh, it's going to happen or what? Well, we really don't have a choice, right? Climate change is dealing with us and we have to deal with it. Here in New York State, we have a proposal on the table called the Climate and Community Protection Act that deals with climate change, moves our economy to 100% renewable energy, and invests in the communities that are most impacted by climate change. We think this is the session in which our legislature can pass it, and that we want them and uh, Governor Cuomo to know that this is the way New York can lead on climate change. Are other states involved in this, or is it uh, exclusively New York? We're talking today about a bill for New York State called the Climate and Community Protection Act. It's been introduced in the Senate and the Assembly. And uh, today there's a set of hearings here in New York City. Uh, and we have several people. And that's the New York State Senate meeting? Yeah, New York State Environmental uh, Committee meeting. Very today. good. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, good luck. Thank you. thank you. Hey, can I ask you one more question? What do you say to the naysayers? What do you say to the, to the Trumps in the, of the world that say it's a hoax? You know, you just need to go into communities that are facing climate change and you should talk to them, right? You should talk to the people in the Far Rockaways, in the Lower East Side of New York, in Houston, in Puerto Rico, in, in California where people are facing wildfires. Coastlines too. And coastlines that are being met with floods and storms and ask them, do they think climate change is real? Because if you ask them, they know that the impacts are hitting their lives now today. What do you say to the fossil fuel industry, Exxon, that says, says you guys are a bunch of lefties, you don't know what you're talking about, it's, it's all a hoax. It's a, pro what's that? it's a profit motive, right? The only thing I have to say to them is their time is up. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate Thank it. Good. It's another good guy. All right. Let me wrap this up. So those guys are going to go out and march now. They're going to carry on. Steps are empty. Look, they're gone. Here, one minute, gone the next. Damn. And uh, where do they go? They're gone, man. They're fucking standing here by myself. I'm going to get kicked out. The police don't like me. <laughs> I got shooken down on the way in. So... Marcus Conti reporting from the CCPA <laughs> event here at uh, City Hall in New York City. Climate change is real. It's a hoax. I don't know. You want my opinion? I think it's real. I think we need to do something about it. But I don't think anything's going to happen. Look at Venezuela, man. They want to they wanna, they wanna drill, baby, drill. Suck that shit out of the ground, man. What you're talking about, man. You got to make the money. We gotta make the money, man. Fuck this soul shit. This fucking soul of lefty shit, man. Fuck, you gotta make the money, man. You know what I'm saying? Mark Sconti reporting.